guys we are out and about in queen creek today we're going to take a look in a couple of models just give you an idea of what we have to offer in the east valley so we're in our first model of the day this was just under 2,000 square feet um it can be converted to a three or four bedroom depending on your taste as you can see it's a single level home and we're just going to walk you through it so you can see what this house has to offer so we're now in the living space. So this would be a living room, dining room, kitchen combo, otherwise known as the open concept plan. We're gonna swing you back around to the front door so you can see, kind of get your bearings. That's the front door there. And then you come back and it goes right into the living room and the kitchen and such. So just around the bend from the front door is going to be one of your bedrooms. So this is kind of um, an in-law suite type situation, as you can see, and I'll swing back around. And I see why they did it, you know, for the aesthetics, but here you've got this door, which this one has like a window in it. I'm sure you wouldn't put one in it because there's bed here. But if you had an, um, so like a multi-generational type situation where you have maybe an older teenage child or a child coming back from college, they actually can have their own section of the house towards the front. So back here, you've got actual, uh, what do you call this, cabinet space. Um, there's a couple of closet doors over there. You've got a space already built in for a desk. And this is probably a full-size bed. So I'll try to get you an idea of how much space is here. So it's kind of like a studio apartment up here towards the front of the house. And then just around that wall there is the bathroom. So again, if you don't have um extra family member that you need to add into this space you can turn it into a little man cave or whatever you want to do in this front portion of the house here but you have the option to do it all right so we're going to swing back around head back into the living space again and from there we're going to go over to the other bedroom so these would be bedrooms number two and three excuse me so bedroom number two Here's what we've got here. It's a pretty cool wall. And again, there's enough space in here for nightstands on both sides of the bed and still have a nice size bedroom, not bedroom, but nice bed size here. Um, over to the corner, you can put a television or if you don't want one, you don't have to put one. And then behind the door, there is the walk, and not really a walk-in closet, but it's a decent size closet. And it's kind of tall, so if you wanted to maybe add additional shelving or whatever you want to do to make it your own, you do have the capability of doing so. So now we're going to go into bedroom number three. So this one is about the same size as the one we just left. Same size closet, so you're not losing anything. You don't have to have your children fighting over who gets the bigger room because you're both going to get the same amount of space, space in both rooms. And there you go again, enough space for, um, actually, no, this one is smaller. Because what I'm noticing here in this room, you don't have that wall where you can place like a television over this way. If you do, um, it's going to take away from the room that you have to roam. Unless you don't have this thing, because that might be making the difference as well. So just an idea for how that room is set up. There's the bathroom. And again, that's off of the two bedrooms, so it's uh, not, you know, taken away from what you have going on here. Here's the kitchen again with the oversized island. And back around this corner, that's going to go out into the garage. Again, this we're in the model, so the garage is actually the office here. And here's your walk-in pantry. And off to the left is your utility room very nice all right so we're gonna head back now into the master or the primary excuse me it's the primary now so this is more of a owner suite you're gonna come in through the door here is your bathroom got the oversized shower here and your closet is actually in through the bathroom for 1900 square feet it's a pretty nice size closet actually 
And then out here, you're going to have double sinks. And again, there's a how that shower looks there. Very nice shower. There's the floors. And you're going to come back out and then swing into the primary bedroom. <laughs> Love that chandelier. So here's the primary bedroom here. So from your primary, you do have outside access to your back porch, lanai. I don't know what they call it in Arizona. Um, patio, patio. There you go. They call it the patio. So let's swing out and take a look at the patio area. So this home was built with an outdoor kitchen. You got the extended patio so you can enjoy yourselves in the summertime or wintertime. And as you can see, the lot size is actually a pretty nice size lot, not too much, um, enough to where if you did need to add a pool or something, you still have enough space to enjoy the rest of your yard. There you go. And then there's the outdoor kitchen. All right, so these homes are priced in the upper 300s, lower 400s. So if you're in that market and you're looking for a home now, let me know. We'll get you out here so that you can come and see these homes yourself. Give me a call, 623-207-7146. I'll talk to you guys later.